Again, our scripture is coming to the book of Luke, the 8th chapter. Book of Luke, the 8th chapter. Beginning at the 42nd verse. When you're there, say amen. 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 When you find it, let's pan down to the B clause of the 42nd verse, and it starts with the word but. Mm -hmm. The B clause starts with the word but in the King James translation. Mm -hmm. Amen. In the King James translation. Uh, it says, but as he went, the people thronged him. Mm -hmm. And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, mm -hmm. came behind him and touched the border of his garment. And immediately her issue of blood stanched. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, who touched me? Mm -hmm. When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude thronged thee and pressed thee and, and saith thou who touched thee? Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, Somebody hath touched me. For I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. Mm -hmm. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him mm -hmm. and how she was healed immediately. Amen. And he said unto her daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. Amen. Glory to God. If I were to lift a thought into your hearing from this passage of text uh, this afternoon, or this morning, not quite noon yet, it would be simply tried and true. Mm -hmm. Tried and true. Will you pray with me? Our Father, our our Father, which art in heaven. this word that you have given us on 
this day. Lord, and you promised that your word would not go out and return unto you void, but that it would prosper in the thing whereto thou send it. Speak now, Lord. Through this message, speak to our hearts and speak to our minds. Edify us. God, teach us. Show us the way everlasting. Father, we'll forever give your name glory forever give your name praise. We love you, Lord. And we thank you for every promise kept. We thank you for every opportunity that you afford us, God, to be used for your glory. God, we know that no flesh shall glory in your sight. That's why we come humble. Bowing right here at the foot of the cross. Offering our mind our body, our soul, our members, that you might use us as you choose to teach, to preach, or to prophesy. Whatever you do, Lord, is in your hands. However you fix it, God, we're in your hands. Yes, Lord. However you speak, Lord, we're in your hands. Restore to us the joy of our salvation. Through your preached word, Father, we'll give you praise. And this is our prayer. In Jesus' name, In Jesus name. we pray. And the redeemed said, Amen. 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 Sometimes if we're looking for a cure, we'll try multiple things. If we're looking for a fix, mm -hmm. we'll try many different things. Mm -hmm. Even in our personal lives, when we're looking for a mate, we'll try yes, many out. Mm -hmm. on our road to finding the right connection. Mm -hmm. But there's some things in life that we don't really have to try. That's right. We just have to put them into action in our lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where our message is going today. But it starts out uh, with the text about the woman with the issue of blood. And this text, I don't believe, is foreign to most of us. I, I, I dare say that we have all heard this text read, or even maybe we've read it ourselves a number of times, or, or at least once in our life. And, and if you haven't read it, I encourage you today to visit this text uh, and visit it often, because it's not just about a woman mm -hmm. with an issue of blood. This woman's story is a testament about faith that's put into action. Amen? Amen. When the woman uh, with the issue of blood, when, 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 when the woman had gone through all that she had, when she had exercised all of her resources, she finally realizes that she must exercise her faith. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and she determines to try something different because faith without works is dead. Now, is that all right? Amen. Uh, I, I submit to you today that this woman not only had an issue of blood, uh, which was a, a, a physical 
and debilitating condition. But she also had many other issues. Glory to God. Just like you and I today. I dare say, and I can use myself as a witness, I have many issues. Yes. <laughs> Glory to God. I, I'm thankful that one of them is not an issue of blood, but I've suffered similar illness in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. but, 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 but I have still other issues. Some of those issues are mental. Some of those issues are physical. Some of those issues are psychological. Some of those issues are spiritual. And I dare say that you too probably have some issues in your life. Mm -hmm. Truth be told. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, but, 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 but she had many other issues uh, that were precipitated because of this very illness. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us that the woman was ill for 12 years. 12 years is a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, to be sick with the same ailment for one year yes. can be debilitating. Mm -hmm. uh, to be sick with the same illness for six months can be discouraging. Yes. To be sick with an illness for three months will cause one to begin to wonder where God is. Because surely if you're sick enough, glory to God, you're going to eventually call on his name. Uh, you may not even be a believer, but you'll find yourself crying, Jesus. Yes. Right. Uh, oh, oh, God. Uh, yes. uh, help me, Lord. You, you'll find yourself, even uh, outside of yourself, if you don't know him, calling on the name of Jesus. Yes. So I would believe that this woman was really tired mm -hmm. of going through. Twelve years, my God. Twelve long years. Mm -hmm. This is a long time to be ill. But she was chronically ill, meaning almost unto death. Yes. From this illness, from this condition, from this issue of blood. Mm -hmm. I want you to understand the, 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 the plight that she found herself in because of this condition. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. You know, when we find ourselves in an unseemly condition and we don't understand why, it weighs heavy on yes, us. It does. Uh, it weighs heavy on us. I remember in reading the Sunday school lesson, and then we talked about it in class this morning about uh, God not putting anything on you except that which you deserve. That's right. Glory to God. But, but, but sometimes uh, these bodies break down. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for no reason at all, uh, you get a headache. You know? yes. For no reason at all, you wake up in the morning and, and a pain you've never had before will strike you on your backside. Uh, sometimes your knees, you're just walking alone and you kneel or give in. Glory to God. Sometimes just walking alone, your ankle will twist and you're walking alone just fine. Because these bodies are frail and they'll break down on us in any moment. Glory to God. And age really has nothing to do with it. Glory to God. I see young people just walking alone and just stumbling. Nothing there but the ground. But they're these bodies are frail yes, they and they break down. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. But I submit to you today that this woman had this issue for 12 years. And by this point, she is chronically ill. Mm. Uh, uh, so ill, in fact, that uh, in some texts I read that she crawled mm. through the crowd. Jesus. To get to the hem of Jesus' garment. Mm -hmm. uh, in other texts it says that she reached out and touched the hem of his garment. But however she did it, she made her way to Jesus. But, but, but before she made her way to Jesus, this woman was living day in and day out. Yes. Glory to God. With her monthly menstrual mm -hmm. period. Check the video. I don't know if it just went off or...
if it was just my phone, may have just been my phone. Glory to God. She was dealing with her monthly menstrual period uh -huh. on a regular basis. It did not stop. It did not cease. She was continuously, day after day, for 12 long years, uh -huh. dealing with this situation. Glory to God. And I know that you men uh, may not be able to witness with this thing personally, but you can witness to it. And, and if you give me a few minutes, I'm going to explain to you how. Uh -huh. She was dealing with a physical issue because of this issue of blood because uh, uh, she would never have time for her body to regenerate the, the vital right. iron and, and, and minerals and calcium and proteins that the body regenerates on its own mm -hmm. when it's given ample time to heal. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And let, let, let me use this as an example. When an athlete is in the gym pumping iron, glory to God, he, he's in there getting his workout on or she's getting her workout on. The body produces enzymes, glory to God, naturally that help that body regurgitate itself after the workout is over. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. The body, in other words, re will repair itself. Yes. Glory to God. If you think about it, uh, one very good example is if you bite your tongue. Uh, if you've ever bitten your tongue so hard that it bleeds. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. That means that there was a, I've done it. Glory to God. Yes. That means that there was a puncture. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you're eating and get good. You're eating and talking uh -huh. and smacking. And for you know it, well, you know. Yeah. And, and so that means that there was a puncture mm -hmm. because there was some blood that began to come out. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And that may happen today. And it may be sore today and tonight. Yes. But tomorrow, if you look in your mouth, you will scarcely be able to find right. where you beat the holy. Right. Right. Because the God, God in his is. infinite wisdom, yes. glory to God, he has designed these bodies and in a lot of ways they heal themselves. Yes. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes. And so likewise, if the woman had ample time uh, between cycles, a 30-day cycle, mm -hmm. the body heals itself. Yes. The body builds back and gives back the women, the minerals and the iron and the calcium and the proceeds, proteins, the things that the body needs to function and to perform at optimum health. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. But this lady didn't have that opportunity for 12 years. Mm -hmm. For 12 years, she was depleted day in and day out of vital life saving and life rendering minerals that her body needed. Glory to God. I submit to you today that the woman had many issues. She had this physically, but she also had personal issues. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. This lady would have known great suffering personally. What are you saying, Pastor? I'm saying she would have known great suffering personally because if we look in the book of Leviticus, around the 15th chapter, we can find there all of the laws that would have applied to this lady, glory to God, and she would have likely been ostracized from the society because of her menstrual period, glory to God, being upon her continuously. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. In other words, she would have been ostracized from coming around people because she would have been perceived as being unclean. Right. Glory to God. She would have been perceived as being unclean. Ritually unclean, meaning that the law literally stated that a woman during this period was to be treated as someone who was unclean. Mm -hmm. She would not have been found hanging out among other women or within the community. Glory to God. She would have been ostracized from going to the synagogue. Mm -hmm. She would have been ostracized from coming into the temple. She wouldn't have even been able to go into to the city market. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Because she would have been considered unclean. Glory to God. 
she would have not been found even among her closest relatives. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible indicates that if she was considered unclean and that if she had been found hanging out with other people that she would have been killed along with the people that she was found hanging out with. So she was almost dangerous to even be seen with. Yes, yes. Because your life would have been in the balance along with hers because she was considered unclean. According to the laws of ritual purity, what you can find, as I said, in Leviticus, the 15th chapter, she would have been unclean during the entire cycle of this period. Glory to God. Which for this lady would have been somewhere around 12 years. Mm -hmm. Conjugally, glory to God, she had issues. She had issues. The woman's condition was not only physically debilitating, but it disqualified her from marriage. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Uh, what do you mean, Pastor? Well, if you look at the 20th chapter in the 18th verse of Leviticus, you'll find that it says, And if a man shall lie with a woman, having her sickness or her issue mm -hmm. or her cycle, and shall uncover her nakedness, he hath discovered her fountain, mm. and she hath uncovered the fountain of her blood. Mm -hmm. And both of them shall be cut off from among their people. Mm. Glory be to God. So, so she could not even have proper companionship mm -hmm. because of this situation. And if she was married when she went into this situation, mm -hmm. it's very likely that her husband would have given her a document of divorcement by now because she would have not been able, number one, to engage in any intimate relationship. Number two, she would not be able to bear any children for this husband. And thirdly, she would have just not been able, glory to God, to perform any of her wifely mm -hmm. duties because she would have been depleted of her health and her strength yes. most of the time. So conjugally, she had issues. Glory to God. Are y'all with me? Amen. Amen. Socially, she would have been prohibited from all of the public gatherings, mm -hmm. such as attending worship at the temple or the synagogue. She would have been denied access to the place that we know she should have had access to, which we call the hospital, and they call the temple. Yes. But she would have been denied access. She would have been denied entrance. As a matter of fact, before she ever got close to the temple, she would have been beaten down. Mm. Because those that knew her and knew her condition, glory to God, would have, would have beat her because they know that she was not supposed to be outside mm -hmm. of her private home. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So she would have never made it to the hospital. My, my. What they were calling the temple or the synagogue. So she would have been denied the access. As a matter of fact, she would have been only allowed, glory to God, to co-mingle mm. with the likes of the lepers. My, my. Glory to God. Because the lepers were also ostracized. Mm -hmm. The lepers were also cast out. Glory to God. The lepers were also looked down upon. The lepers were also sick in their bodies. Glory to God. Can you imagine being with an issue of blood that long and being that sick in the only place that, 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 that you are accepted is among other sick folk that are in worse condition, worse off, worse state of mind, worse physical condition than you are? My God, what hope would you have? Yes. What, what joy would you have? Mm -hmm. What peace could you have? Glory to God. I submit to you today that she had no hope and, and she had no joy and she had no peace. 
But, but, but she would have been allowed to commingle with the likes of the lepers because of their condition. And, and they were also rendered unclean. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, they literally had to cry out unclean. Mm -hmm. Whatever people maybe that didn't know, because see, when, you, when leprosy first begins, it's not quite visible. So in order for people not to uh, become sick with it, if I was lepers, I would have to constantly cry out, unclean, mm. unclean, unclean, so that passers-by would stray away from me. Mm. Glory to God. So they wouldn't try to come near to me or to talk to me. Can you imagine your family members? Your loved ones, your little children seeing you. And you know how children are. They haven't seen a parent in a long time. They see them and they want to come running and get a hug. And you've got to shun them back and cry, unclean, unclean, unclean. And everybody who hears the word knows what it means. Maybe the little child doesn't know, but everyone else in the midst knows. What it means when you cry unclean. Glory to God. Glory to God. This lady had tried all that she could. Mm -hmm. She had, the Bible says she had spent all of her money and had been made none the better. But she's found here hanging out with the lepers. And this had gone on for 12 long years. Glory to God. I can't imagine what she was going through. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine what she must have been feeling. But 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 I found in the Bible that 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 that, that during this time Luke tells us that 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 no one could heal her. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. No one could heal her. She had been to the specialist and, and she had been to the obstetrician. She had been to the gynecologist. She had been to the soothsayer. Mm -hmm. Uh, she had been to the palm reader. She had been to everyone that she knew to go to and had, had tried everything that she could think of and had spent all of her money. Glory to God. The Talmud, which is the equivalent of the Torah, but the Talmud, T-A-L-M-U-D, contains all of the laws and the stipulations, and the Torah contains the first five books. But the Talmud uh, 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 goes on to say that, that there was a, a body of, of Jewish civil and ceremonial laws that was written in this book. And, and that they were written, and in there you could find primitive methods for determining medical procedures. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Primitive is the key word. Mm -hmm. Primitive methods for engaging medical procedures. Mm -hmm. This is what they would do. They would do things like take metal and boil it mm -hmm. and put iron in the bottom of the cup, mm -hmm. which I can imagine tastes awful. And then they would mix that with, with fruits and make a wine out of it, a liquid. And then they would tell the person who was sick with the issue to drink it. My, my. And no doubt this woman with the issue of blood has drank many cups mm -hmm. of this concoction. But the problem with the concoction is that iron and metal eats out the lining mm -hmm. of the stomach. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Just like you see metal rust Glory to God. It would do the same thing for your insides. Mm -hmm. It's almost like it's, it's as it goes down as a sick. Glory to God. And what does acid do? <laughs> acid eats away. Glory to God. So, so this was one of the methods. And I share this because I want to try to convey to you the magnitude of where she had gone through. Mm -hmm. and, 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 the, and the level of effort that she was putting into trying to be made whole again. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Tried and true. She tried everything, yes. but she hadn't found anything to be true to what it said it was going to do for her in return. 
The book tells uh, uh, what the people would, would do to try to solve her problem. Uh, and, and not just her problem, this, these were written laws, but they used her as a guinea pig. Yes. Glory to God. When she would come to them, think about it. She's coming with all she has. And some of them, knowing full well it wasn't going to work, mm -hmm. they were still trying anyway mm -hmm. so that they could get her money. Glory to God. Because desperation is a blind sign. Yes. Glory to God. Do you hear me? When you are desperate, you will try about anything. That's right. And after 12 long years of suffering, now she's in a fit of desperation. Mm -hmm. Can I get an amen? amen? Has anybody ever been desperate yes. for an answer? Yes. Have you ever been desperate for a resolve? Yes. You, you, you just get yes. tired and you just want it to be over. Yes. You know, you start out wanting it to be right and yes. wanting it to be fixed and wanting to make it work, but then after a while you just get tired of being sick and tired. Mm -hmm. And you just want to give up and give in and say, well, go ahead on. It's not going to work anyway. This lady was at this point of desperation where she had tried everything that she could think of and now she's coming down to the end of her road. Wow. Glory to God. The issue with this fact is that none of the recommendations, glory to God, that were given to her or any of the combinations of procedures and, com and, and, and liquids and things to drink and things to take and things to try. One, one, one instance even says that she was told to go stand at the, the crossroads. And while you're standing at the crossroads, they gave her this concoction to drink. She had to hold her hand in one particular position for X amount of time and had to quote some scriptures or quote some words, and, and she had to stand there. The woman is already sick with the issue of blood. Mm -hmm. And now you want her to go somewhere and stand in the middle of the road, first of all, crying unclean, Secondly, quoting some scriptures is not going to make any difference. It's probably like a bunch of hogwash. Because if you go to the Talmud, you can read some of the ludicrous things they were telling people to do. But the people didn't know it. So out of desperation, they were trying it. Glory to God. This woman didn't know. So out of desperation, she tried it. I don't know about you, but I've had some desperate times yes. in my life. Glory to God. But this lady is in a bad way. She's in a bad fix. Glory to God. This issue of blood has caused her to have many other issues. Mm -hmm. There was no proof that any of these recommendations ever worked any time for anyone who tried them. But yet she was willing to try it. Foolish recommendations would have was, were given to her at her cost, mm -hmm. and yet she was made none the better. The scripture literally says she had spent all her living up on physicians. Mm -hmm. Neither could be healed of any when you have a real need. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. You will do whatever it takes. Yes. Am I right about it? Amen. When you have a real need, you will do whatever it takes. I've had needs in my life. And we go to and fro trying to figure out what to do to solve the problem or to gain what it is we think that we need. But when you get tired of being sick and tired, you'll do whatever you think is going to make a difference. Yeah. Am I right about yes, it? Yes. Maybe you have never been there, but, but, but I can attest to that. Uh, when you get tired of being sick and tired, yes. you'll do whatever you think it takes to make a difference. That's right. Glory to God. Have you ever had a toothache? Mm -hmm. mm. Glory to God. If you've never had a toothache, let me, let me share something with you. <laughs> that thing will start aching just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you'll get some, what it kind of stuff, some, some, some oh, orange yeah. yeah. You know, you get some of that little, little tooth numb and stuff. Mm -hmm. 
But they tired, and you, you know, you, you, it's, it's, it's a little jail, and a little too. See, y'all with all this tea, y'all, y'all, y'all ain't no good at the back. You, 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 you put the little jail around the gum yes. of the tooth that's yes. aching. Yes. Okay? Now, Brother Will, the, the, the R gel will numb the gum. Mm -hmm. It will. For a while. For a while. For a while. But if there's a problem with that tooth, either on the inside with the nerve or the root, or if you got a cavity, that orange gel is not going to last. Yeah. First, you'll start out putting it on, you know, once, maybe every so often when you feel a little tingle, mm -hmm. you go ahead and put a little bit up there, just so you don't get aggravated with it. Then you'll notice that you're having to make application yes. about once a week. Am I right about yes. it? Because that tooth is starting to bother you a little more frequently. And, and you need to put a little something on there to keep the pain down. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to go to the dentist. Right. And so now you're at about once a week, you're, you're making application. But all the time you're making application to the gum on the outside, the problem on the inside is getting worse. Yes. And so the pain now is becoming more and more frequently. Mm -hmm. Once a week now is once or twice a day. Yes. And before once or twice a day subsides, it's every hour. Mm. As soon as you feel it easing off, it had been about an hour, hour and a half, you got to go put some That's more right. in. That's right. To the point where the, it's got to the point now where the origin just really not working. You're wasting your money on getting something that's really not doing you any good at this point in time. Mm -hmm. But you're looking for a resolve for this ache without yes. going yes. to a dentist. Mm -hmm. Y'all stay with me. I'm going yes. somewhere and I'm about ready to close. Uh, you, you, you're looking for a, 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 a resolve mm -hmm. for this ache in your mouth. And you, you don't want to go to the dentist. Knowing that the dentist can probably help you. Right. Glory to God. Because you heard of others who had the same problem, and the end result was that they had to go to a dentist. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. I've had a toothache before. I remember the first time I really had a toothache, I was young, in middle school. And that tooth started hurting me so bad, Sister Waiters. I was in my mama's rocking chair. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to say nothing. And I didn't want nobody to say nothing to me. Yes. And I didn't want to talk. I don't want nobody to touch me. I need some help. Mm -hmm. Get this thing out of my mouth. Get me some help. Whatever needs to be done, let's get it done. Yes. Because I was in pain. And, and here's the thing about a toothache. A toothache, it, it, it's in your mouth. Yes. It's in your head. Mm -hmm. But a toothache will have your whole body off, off center. You, 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 your elbow feels sensitive. Yes. Your, your body and your feet feel That's sensitive. True. Your, your true. knee aching. And your back don't feel right. That's a toothache true. will impact your the entire body. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So you, you will get to a point where you want some resolve. Yes. You will want some relief. Glory to God. So, so when you're tired, of being sick and tired. You don't want to do something about that toothache. Yes. You, you'll tolerate that pain for a while. Mm -hmm. But if that pain persists over a period of days, and, and, and you, you, you will start contemplating a more permanent fix. Yes. Am I right about That's it? Right. Uh, the Bible doesn't lead and, 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 uh, doesn't lead and, and, and give us a verbal confirmation um, of what the woman may have been thinking on the day in which she decides that enough is enough. Yeah. It doesn't tell us what she was thinking. There's no verbal communication in the Bible that tells us what she was thinking, but we do know that she got to a point where enough was just enough. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And, and, and on this day, Something happened. Jesus. It doesn't say what happened in the woman's life, but something happened this day because surely she lived in an area, I'm sure she knew that there was a cure available. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She, 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 she heard uh, 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 that, that there was one, glory to God, in the area that could cure her, I'm sure of it. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. The Bible doesn't say it, but when you put two and two together, you come up with the fact that she lived in a region that was small enough that she would have heard 
heard about the man. Yes. Glory to God. Who could solve her problem. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. But this day, glory to God, she heard and that hearing caused her to desire an encounter with a man. Mm -hmm. And the man was named Jesus. Mm -hmm. It seems odd to me that, that she had not sought Jesus out earlier mm -hmm. during her issues. Twelve years is a long time and yes. Jesus had been yes. in and out of that region and working miracles in and out of that region, healing, calling dead from the grave, uh, restoring withered limbs and this and that. And so it, 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 it concerns me that she had not called on him earlier. Glory to God. But, but, but something tells me that on this day, this woman heard that Jesus was going to be in the area yes, again. Yes, yes. Glory be to God. And yes. after she had tried everything else uh, yes. with no avail, uh, glory be to God. I promise you, uh, when that tooth gets to acting up and it hurt long enough, you're going to desire some relief. Yes. And you'll find yourself at the one's office who can give you That's some right. help. Glory That's be right. to God. And well, sometimes we worry that we're going to lose the tooth, but he's able to fix and save yes. that which you've given yes. unto him. Yes. Am I right about Amen. it? Glory to God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. This day, she went into the area knowing that Jesus was going to be there. Think about it. She took the chance. Because she really could have been killed along the way. Yes. She could have been stoned to death along the way. Mm -hmm. But she took the chance to try to get to Jesus. Yes. Glory to God. We ought to take some chances yes. in our lives. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Glory to God. To get to Jesus. Yes, we're going to be ostracized. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us that. Yes, we're going to be cast aside. Yes, those so-called friends are going to leave us alone. But when we make our way to Jesus, Jesus is able to make it all right. Yes. He says, I'll be your friend. That's right. So we don't have to worry about fake friends anymore. Right. Because right. he says, I am a friend right. to the friends. Yes. Glory be to God. So, 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 so the, the one who has been tried and found to be true. Mm -hmm. See, see, we, this lady is encountering Jesus. And it's not like when she was talking to the soothsayer. It's not like when she was talking uh, uh, to, 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 the, to, the, to the sorcerer. Glory to God. Now she is going to surround herself mm -hmm. with people who can tell her or confirm all that Jesus has done. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Uh, she doesn't have to worry about whether it's going to work or not. <laughs> she doesn't have to worry about uh, losing her life or yes. not. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Because now she going to the one who gives life and he sustains. Yes. She's going now to the one who's been found. He's found to be tried and yes. true. Yes. So glory be to God. What do you mean, Pastor? Well, I believe on this day that she heard yes. that Jesus was going to be in the area. Yes. Perhaps she heard about the storm that had Perhaps she heard that Jesus is the man who speaks to the wind and the waves and they obey him. I don't know, but Jesus is the one who's found to be tried and true. What do you mean, Pastor? Maybe she heard.
We don't have to test his love for us because he loves us and he's already proven his love. Mm -hmm. John the 15th chapter says, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Mm -hmm. And aren't you glad he's called you and I friend today? Yes, yes. We are a friend of God. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Don't you know that when she decided to make her way to Jesus, I believe that she had decided to go try for herself. I remember hearing about John the Baptist. And John the Baptist, just like this lady, John had heard that Jesus was in the area. But John Jesus turned and said, who touched me? 
was because this woman's faith was so strong that she literally snatched Jesus. her healing. Mm. Glory to God. She yes. snatched the power she needed for her healing from Jesus. Yes. That's why he says, somebody touch me because I felt the very virtue leave me. She literally snatched, if you can envision that in the spirit, Jesus. she literally snatches the power mm -hmm. that she needs yes. because her touch is out of faith. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. She's been through all that she can take. And this is her last resolve. Yes, Lord. But now she has a determination. Mm -hmm. In other words, she now she won't be denied. That's right. Glory to God. So I say to you today, Jesus. we don't have to be denied. We can take our bliss. Yes. Glory to God. In faith. In faith. In faith. Yes. Now we gotta be in the right place, in the right position with That's God. Right. That's Glory right. to God. But we can literally. Do what this woman did. Yes. We can reach out and touch Jesus in faith. Yes. To receive that which we stand in the need of. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. Well, a lot of us are complaining and moaning and groaning. When is he going to come? He's not going to come. He don't hear me. But where is your faith? That's right. Exercise in your faith. Yes. Because faith says I might not feel like it. That's right. I might not look good. That's right. I might not feel like putting on no clothes today. Yes. But because I never understand. I know we don't always feel our best. I know we don't always feel like going. Sometimes we're tired mm -hmm. for a long week of work. But I submit to you today, the one that we're coming to see, Jesus, glory, we're not coming to see the pastor. That's right. We're coming to hear the word that the pastor gives. Yes. But the word is coming from the one who is able to restore you. Yes. The one who is able to build you up. That's right. But if you don't exercise your faith, he's not going to come. No. He's not going to push or force himself upon you. That's right. Glory to God. And certainly if you turn your back to him, right. he's not going to answer. No. Glory to God. So what we do when we turn our back to him is we prolong our suffering. Yes, we do. Mm. Yes, we do. Glory to God. We prolong. I will try. Yes. We prolong. It's a test. It's we prolong test. our tribulation. It's a test. Yes. It's, it's a, a test, test of wit. Yes. Who's yes. going to withstand? Are we going to withstand the adversary? Or are we going to give in to him? My, my. It's a test of will. Yes, test. The will of God mm -hmm. or the will of our adversary. It's only a test, yes, a test. that we're going through. Yes. Church, I'm closing. Jesus. When the issues of life are raging and you can't seem to get any better remember that we can try almost anything yes but nothing will work like making contact with the one mm -hmm. who is tried and true. and true yes you may be able to do most things that need to be done but i submit to you today that there are going to be some things yes. in life you and I just are not going to be able to do. That's right. And when we encounter those things, we can call on the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. our Heavenly Father, our Savior. And he will intercede to the Father on our behalf. Yes. Some things just won't happen yes. unless you call on the Lord. Out of a pure heart. Yes. And out of faith. Unfaith. Right. Glory to God. Not faking it. But out of faith. Unfaith. And you can't tell me that you have faith today. And no faith tomorrow. That's right. You may be weak tomorrow. But you still got to have faith. That's right. And that faith will drive you back to the church. Mm -hmm. Because it's almost like you were saying, God, we prove it. Mm -hmm. God, you got to prove me and see. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Prove me. Show me. Glory to God. But, but, but we can't hold God's feet to the fire unless we come into his realm of operation. Right. Glory to God. We can't stand up on the street corner and command God to do his work. Mm -hmm. We got to come into the temple where he resides. That's right. Glory to God. And then we can talk to him mm -hmm. like children to a father. Yes. And we can hear him like a father speaks to his child. Glory to God. And although, and the lesson was powerful this morning, and although we learned from the lesson this morning that he's forgiven, That's right. he will allow yes. the detriment to come because of our sin nature. Because right. in other words, once he shows you right from wrong, mm -hmm. and you choose to do wrong, yes. there's a recourse. That's right. There's a recourse. So when we begin to reap the harvest, Glory to God. Don't whine and complain. That's right. Come and take your beating. Mm -hmm. Come and take your punishment. Come and take your chastisement. Repent, get over, and move on. That's right. Glory to God. Because he's the one mm -hmm. who has tried and found to be true. That's right. Many had tried him and found him to be true. I don't mean try him like you try a different washing powder or you try uh, a different soda or you try a different meal. I'm not talking about that. That's because right. see, this is what happens. If you try a particular uh, meal or type of food you've never had before, if you don't like it, you ain't gonna try it. That's right. Am I right about it? Mm -hmm. If you try a particular type of, of uh, laundry detergent and that detergent breaks you out or you don't leave leaves a bad smell to your uh, senses in your clothing, you're not gonna try it again. You're not gonna buy it anymore. May not even finish using that bottle that you purchased. That's right. Because you don't like it. I'm not talking about that. Because see, when you make contact with Jesus, mm -hmm. <laughs> glory to God, you don't have a choice. That's right. Glory be to God because he's not going to leave you. That's right. <laughs> glory to God. So you, you ain't going to have the, uh, the ability to leave him because he's not going to leave you. Right. Every time you try to fall short, he's going to remind you that he's right there because right. his word is tried and true. He said, I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. Glory be to God. You might be beaten down. He said, but I'll lift you up. That's right. On your deathbed, I can speak life. My Glory God. to God. When you're hungry, I'm bread. When you're thirsty, I'm the water that you yes. can drink. Yes. He said, I'm the river of water that springs up into everlasting yes. life. So whatever we need, we can find in Jesus. Yes. Glory to God. Because he is the one who has been tried and found yes. to be true. Yes. I, I, tr I trust and believe today that tried and true means that something has been proven mm -hmm. in the past to be effective and or reliable. Yes. I don't know about you, but I've tried. Yes, Lord. And every time I've tried, mm -hmm. he had not let me down. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. He hadn't let me down. The Bible doesn't tell us, church, what prompted the woman on that day other than pure desperation. Mm -hmm. Pure desperation caused her to want to see Jesus. When the disciples were with Jesus out on the sea and the storm arose and the winds began to blow and the tiny little ship was tossed back and forth. The disciples, the Bible says, went down into the hinder part of the ship and they found Jesus fast asleep mm -hmm. over in the corner. And they went over and they shook him and they said, Master, we perish. And the one who is tried and true, he rebuked the wind mm -hmm. and the waves mm -hmm. and the water settled down and they hushed at his command. Church, we do a lot of things. Yes. Glory to God. On our own. But there are some things that won't come to pass without the help of Jesus Christ. Right. The Bible says, Oh, taste and see. and see that the Lord is good and blessed is the man that trusted in him. Glory to God. Amen. We celebrate communion today mm -hmm. because we celebrate the fact that we found the master mm -hmm. 
to be tried and true. We celebrate him because he's never failed us yet. Mm -hmm. He's tried and it's true. We come today first offering him to every sinner who doesn't know him. Mm -hmm. We offer him today as a way out, as a way up, and as a way through. Mm -hmm. He is the great I am. Yes, he, is. he is the Alpha and the Omega. Mm -hmm. We call him his name Jesus. He is our Jehovah. He is the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. He is the son of the living God. Hallelujah. He is the ancient of days without father and without mother and without descent. Mm -hmm. It is he who had come down through 40 and two generations to be born of a virgin. Glory to God. To walk among men. To be hanged on an old rugged cross one day. To be buried in a borrowed tomb. To stay there for three days. To rise on the third he is the one that has all power in his head. Come on, cry Jesus. 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 He is the one. Jesus is the one. He is the one who's tried and true. Jesus is the one. He is the one that has the capability to heal us from all of our issues. To heal us from all of our diseases. To heal us from all of our infirmities. Yes. If you don't know him today, in the pardon of your sin, there's no greater time than this present time. Let's go for the time. You can start the other selection for the communion. Um, if you don't know him, there's no greater time than right now to surrender your life to him. Won't you come and touch the hem of his garment. Won't you come and lay your burdens down at the altar? Won't you come and surrender your life unto him so that you may live? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. This word that we preach, we preach it by faith. It's not the even in thy mouth, this word of faith that we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Glory to God. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whosoever 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 believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew nor the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon his great name. Yes. Won't you call on him today? Jesus. Won't you call on him today? Jesus! 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 Jesus. 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 Thou Son of God! Jesus! Jesus! Jesus. The one who's tried. Yes. The one who's true. Glory to God. If you're in a backslidden state, he's faithful. He says, if you'll repent, I'm faithful and just to forgive you of all unrighteousness. Yes. Glory to God. Father, we all repent today. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have sinned and come short of your glory, God. We repent, Father, of every thought, every action, every afterthought, every word, God, that wasn't pleasing in your sight against the only have we sinned and done this evil in your sight. Yes. Oh, Father, we come now with our hands lifted up and our hearts yes. lifted up and our heads bowed in your presence. Bowing at the foot of the cross. Asking that you will renew our strength. That you will forgive us for every sin and weight that does so easily beset us. So that we may run the race that is set before us with patience, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Glory to God.